This book is called Writing Freedom by Pam Manaz Ryan. Book report by Avery Gustin. My name is Charlotte Darkey Parkhurst, also known as Charlie. I was born in 1812 in New Hampshire. When I was two, I was in a horrible wagon accident with my parents, and they were killed. I was taken to live in an orphanage. For 10 years, I helped work in the kitchen every day, and after my chores were done, I would go to my favorite place, the stables, to be with the horses. Hayward is my only friend at the orphanage. We spend any time we can in the stables together. Vern was the stable hand that taught me all I know about horses. He told me every time you fall, you learn something new about your horse and about yourself. You learn what not to do the next time. Freedom is my favorite horse that I ride and race against the other boys. Mr. Millshock, who runs the orphanage, puts on a pasture races so that people will think the orphanage is a good place and not a place that makes kids work hard. William is one of the boys from the orphanage that bullies all of the other kids. He is my favorite to race against. After I won a race, Mr. Millshark said I could no longer go to the stables, and he gave me more kitchen duties. The same night, Freedom got sick and died from an infection. As if things weren't bad enough, a couple came to the orphanage and adopted Hayward. I couldn't stand it here anymore. I had to run away, but girls never traveled alone. I had a plan. I would disguise myself as a boy. I got Hayward and Verd to help me. I cut my hair. Hayward gave me some clothes, and Verd gave me some money for a stagecoach ride to Massachusetts. When I got there, I had nowhere to stay, nothing to eat, and very little money left. I found a stable with a loft where I could sleep. I cleaned the stalls and brushed the horses at night after everyone had left. Ebenezer, the owner of the stable, caught me, but said I could stay there if I helped her out around the stable. I moved with Ebenezer to Rhode Island, where I continued to work for him, cleaning the stables and taking care of his horses. Ebenezer thought I had such talent working with horses. He decided to have me try driving a stagecoach for him. I worked really hard and became one of the best stagecoach drivers around. I had a close call when Mr. Millshark from the orphanage showed up as one of my passengers. He wanted to ride up top with me as I drove. The stagecoach got stuck in the mud and I asked him to get down to help me push it out. He said, but these are new boots, so I gave him an old pair that I had and hid his boots. After we got out of the mud and to our stop, Mr. Millshark couldn't find his boots, and I had to go without shoes. I never told him where they were, <laughs> but made sure that I gave Ebenezer a new pair of boots. In 1849, two men I worked with from Ebenezer's stable, James and Frank, were wanting to go to California to start a stage company for the gold mining towns. They wanted me to come and work for them. I made the long trip on a boat and stagecoach, and it took me a month to arrive. The work was hard, and the horses weren't trained very well. Shortly after I arrived, I had an accident where one of the horses kicked me in the eye, and I couldn't see out of my left eye. No one thought I would ever be able to drive a stagecoach again, but I worked hard and retrained in my good eye and became one of the best coach drivers around. They called me One-Eyed Charlie. I had to pretend I was a boy all my life so that I could have my freedom and live my dream having a ranch and my own business. In 1868, I was the first woman to vote for the president, even though no one knew I was a woman until after I had passed away. I lived the rest of my life at the ranch I bought in California where I ran a successful business as a station where stagecoaches would come through when they change horse teams. I was able to take care of horses and save enough money to buy a few of my own. Hayward came to visit and Ebenezer came and helped me to run the place. One of my mares was wistful and I was surprised when she had twins, a filly and a colt. I named the filly Freedom and the colt Vern's Thunder. I hope you enjoyed the story about my life. The end.